there's still time on the clock. And what that means for us is there's still time to make the changes that need to be made in order for us to get the most that we would like to from our lives. I'm staying away from the word success somewhat intentionally um, because I think that that term can become uh, convoluted or, or packed with things that we already assume um, or meaning that we already attribute to it that might not be always helpful. Um, some people might look at it as success as as in, you know, the money that you have. And it could be that or um, what you're able to achieve or to attain. And it could be that and that's, those aren't bad things. But sometimes success is also just the internal work of who you um, are deciding to be, who you are becoming. Um, sometimes it's not something that can necessarily be measured. It's not something that we might be able to talk about in wins and losses. Um, but I think that, you know, getting back to where I started this, I just wanted to talk about the fact that there's still time on the clock. And so going back to the game, get, this is game six of the 2023 NBA Finals. Um, and this is the sorry, the game six of the 2023 Eastern Conference uh, NBA, NBA Eastern Conference Finals. And so you had the Miami Heat going up against the Boston Celtics. And it's a great game. If you haven't watched it and go back and like watch the highlights or something, it's an intense and excellent game that literally comes down to the last seconds. And that's really what I want to talk about is. With just three seconds left on the clock, Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat gets fouled. They're down by two at the time. It's actually a pretty bad defensive play to have fouled somebody, you know, at the three point line when you're up by two. He goes to the line. He hits all three of his free throws, puts his team up by one. There's three seconds left on the clock now, right? And the Celtics inbound the ball. They shoot. They miss. And you're thinking that the game is over, except for one of their players rebounds with literally less than a second left, puts it up off, puts it right back in the air off the glass. Um, it hits off the glass. It goes in. Game over. No more time left on the clock. Um, and and. I talk about that because there were so many points in those final seconds that it looked like there wasn't enough time left for um, the other team to win. And each team kept on making a move. Right. Um, each team kept on whether it was the heat with three seconds left um, saying, hey, there's still a game to be played. We can put a shot up at least. Um, and they happen to give themselves a chance by getting to the line, shooting three three pointers, hitting those three pointers. Right. I mean, sorry, not three points, those free throws, hitting the free, the three free throws. And it looks like they're about to win. Right. And then they're playing defense. The Celtics um, uh, get the ball in and they go for a shot. Hey, if you make that first shot, game over. And three seconds like, OK, there's still time on the clock. But after that first shot, surely there's not enough time left to do anything. There's only a split second left. But with that split second, the Celtics were able to win. And so I think we need to consider what happened there both on the offense and the defense side, right? Because whether or not you're talking about in your life, you're playing offense or whether or not you're talking about in your life, you're currently playing defense. Either way, there's still time left on the clock. Okay. So watch this for the Celtics with that split second left. They had to believe like that player had to believe that there was still a play to be made. That player had to believe that it was still worth the time to grab the rebound and make an attempt at least. Right. And I would argue that the attempt is valuable whether or not the ball went into the hoop. Right. The attempt itself is still valuable enough of a thing to at least make happen. OK, because we sometimes only judge things by whether or not um, it it has 
like we won okay but winning is not the only type of success sometimes just the process alone to it goes back to that that term show your work right one of the things that my t and i'll probably talk about that a lot one of the things that my teachers when i was younger used to talk about a lot was that vaughn we can see you get to the end like you put the right answers down on the page right on these tests but you are not showing us your work. You're not showing us how you got to the answer. And it's important to show your work. Why? Because it's in the ability to show your work. It's in the process, so to speak, that you make something repeatable. Right? When your processes are good processes, then you can repeat with some regularity good outcomes. So, yes, sometimes you may not get the outcome that you want, but if you at least have the, the process down if you're at least making attempts then you at least give yourself the opportunity to do good things to to have certain levels and measures of success with a certain amount of regularity so i think that that's important for those of us who are um in a place of life where maybe you know you feel like things aren't working out maybe you feel like you're on the losing end at the moment you know and it feels like there's not a whole lot of time um, for you to do the thing that you want, at least making the attempt. And sometimes the attempt is at least getting prepared, um, setting things up around you. Okay. Um, you know, for me, it's just saying, Hey, let me just put a podcast, you know, episode out there maybe right for you. I don't know what it is. Maybe for you is let me just go take dance lessons. You know, um, even though my body may not function the way that it used to right? for, for somebody else, it's like, Hey, let me just get back on the basketball court for somebody else. It might be, let me at least get back and take a, a continuing education course at a community college somewhere. Right. It might be different for different people. Um, but it's still worth it to make the attempt, right? Because there's still time on the clock. But then for other people also, for the people who think that they're winning in the moment and there's only a split second left on the clock and whatever it is that you're doing and you feel like you automatically have the win, it's important to remember that there's still time on the clock. And that's important because sometimes even when we're winning, when we're ahead of the in the game, um, we forget about the things that are st the, 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 the non sexy things that are still needed to win. Right. And you can assume that because you're winning, things will always work out. And so one of the things that you'll notice in that game is with that split second left, the, the one thing, and this isn't going to go on a highlight reel. It's not going to get, um, you know, uh, nobody's going to be like, Oh, did you see that particular move? But the one thing that the heat forgot to do and they failed to do was to simply box out and box out well okay and there's no nobody is taking stats on how many times did somebody box out <laughs> in the nba right it's not something that's fun to look at but that simple basic fundamental move could have allowed them to keep and hold on to their winning status and instead in that game they they went ahead and lost and so i think it's a call for some of us to start thinking about what are the um things that aren't so sexy that are still important for um our success our general success right um and some of those things i mean think about some of the boring things that you have to have in place for the things that you actually want to do right do, do, do all of us have our insurance in place right do some of us have 401ks in place you know um uh, basic things like are, are folks going to the doctor and getting their health um looked at right what are the defensive things so to speak right um that we need to do the things that um, don't get a whole lot of accolades the things that don't go on a highlight reel but they're the things that are necessary for us to live a balanced and stable life um and so i just want to leave you all with that just something to think about uh coach vaughn is back on the mic and um hopefully you know we'll, we'll continue to share some things that are helpful for you as you're progressing through your own life as um young adults younger professionals or what have you um we're just going to keep on talking about sustainable greatness all right peace <laughs>